seems pretty good. Turn one dork, turn two elder shark druid. Actually, it's it's turn one dork, turn two druid, Dwinnin's elite arc druid, right? Just like the the soul nuts. Seachrom Coast Serum Visions, could be blue-white control, could be a tempo deck likely ad nauseum. I think ad nauseum is most likely to be Seachrom Coast these days. Just pop this and not take any damage. The, jig, the jig's mostly up once we once we put land more on one, so no reason to try and conceal information. Just use our conserver health tool a little bit. I do not drink coffee. I don't do. Oh, and they suspended Lotus Bloom. I missed that. So definitely ad nauseum. Um, I don't know that this deck can turn three. So we'll see here. Um, Shaman of the Pack's a good. I actually have like Shaman into Azuri. Maybe we can turn three them. So we go. Druid. I can get Nettle Sentinel out this turn too, right? Yeah, because because with that I get to do this. I get to cast Nettle Sentinel, and then I can tap all three of my elves. Or start Nettle Sentinel. Nettle Sentinel Heritage Druid is really silly. So always yes, always yield. This a hey, Ren six. Thank you very much for the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are one of the best ways you can support what I do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully we don't uh, get turn three by them, and we can turn three them. Just good, good, clean, classic modern things. Please don't turn three B. I'd like to turn three you. L wins with the 16 month three subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back, bud. Appreciate that. Look at hey, hey, they're two twos now. We've got the Zelda Shark Druid. They're real scary. Don't make don't make fun of my elves. So what am I doing here? So if I Azuri I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I can Tap these. Th I, t I could tap. Is that lethal if I just uh, uh, elf elf arc druid off of this? The the question I want to ask is, can I have lethal and still have shaman in the pack afterwards, so I get to kill them through angel's grace? That's the that's the question. The question is, can I kill them through angel's grace? So if I tap these three for Azuri, this will untap, and then I'll activate this. And then Azuri will deal six, um, six, and then two, which would get me to 12, 17, and then Shaman of the Pack will be lethal. So... You want to sequence so you shaman second because if my opponent plays Angel's Grace, I uh, I want that to go through. Hey, Knight of Saint Traft with the twenty dollar donation. Sad I had to miss JAC. Here's to run that back and thanks for the side descendancies. They're beautiful, awesome. I'm glad to hear those got back to you in the mail. And yeah, what's sweet? Make sure you watch the replay. It was a really good, just like a genuinely good set with the uh, 
with the deck for sure. So now, this way, Angel's Grace doesn't save my opponent because this is life loss, and Angel's Grace will prevent them from losing the game on our turn from life loss, but it won't... Um, it'll They'll die to state-based effects on their upkeep, basically. So they're going to take a good clean 17 here and go to 3, and the Shaman of the Pack will be uncounterable, and we'll kill, they'll die on their upkeep even if they have a... Even if they have a thing, so... We did just end up getting the good clean turn three kill here. They can't even pack of negation this since it's coming in off Kevin or Souls. So this sequencing was really important here again because like if I did this first and then attacked, my opponent would be able to um angel's grace and go to one whereas they can't angel's grace and stay above zero due to the shaman of the pack trigger because this is worded as life loss because magic is an intuitive game that's easy to understand so there's a difference between damage and life loss all right thought seize rex sage um what am i trimming here what's better I feel like I'm supposed to trim one of my fours. I feel like I'm supposed to trim one of my fours. Elvis Champion obviously isn't very good here. They don't have forests. Only to make the rules convoluted and difficult to understand, basically, Jimbo. So I, def I definitely want these five cards. So I have four cards to cut. My gut says I just want to take either four collected companies or four Bloodbraid Elves and cut them out of my deck. I think Visionary is too slow. I guess we don't really need that aspect. Like, it's just another body is the thing, which makes it good with Shaman of the Pack and Arc Druid and stuff like that in Azuri. Like, it's a body that replaces itself. Yeah, I, I agree with the assessment that this deck is well-positioned in Modern. I think I like cutting the Blood Braid Elves. I could definitely see an argument for trimming two Visionaries and leaving two Blood Braid Elves. I mean, Blood Braid Elf isn't exactly fast. Like, you could argue that this is much faster than Blood Braid Elf. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, do this. I think the fact that Bloodbraid Elf could often be difficult to cast is another knock against it. Uh, it's a little bit sad. Hopefully we draw one drop here so we don't have to play Dwinin's Elite as a uh, as a Grizzly Bear. Yeah, I like that uh, company is like better at finding our Lords than Bloodbraid Elf likely is. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, like, people keep talking about new cards in these decks, and I feel like a lot, a lot of people don't realize that, like, um, adding, like, more three drops really isn't what most modern decks are looking to be doing. I'm going to go Guilt Leaf. Elite. I'm just going to go ahead and Thought Seize here. Hopefully we just, like, draw another land or one drops here, and we get to curve out and spend our mana every turn here. Bantus, Spoils. What'd they do with this Scry? Went top-bottom. Um... I'm pretty sure I just have to take the Bantus here. Pretty sure we're just not beating that one on average. I think even if we miss on an Elf next turn, I'm just going to play the Dwin and Delete out as, a, as an Elvish Grizzly Bear. I think that's just the line. Thing. Our hand's a little bit slow here, especially compared to last game, but we have the Thought Seize, so like maybe we'll be okay. They bottomed a card with their Scry on their Temple. We're like almost certainly just like playing the Arc Druid next turn, right? Morning, Jarvis. 
played Dark Slick, they played Temple, Pentad Prism. That's pretty good. So they have Spoils, Angel's Grace. Um, Spoils plus Grace means they just need to get to seven mana and they can kill us. Because they can Grace and then Spoils for Ad Nauseum and then Ad Nauseum. I suppose that does leave them the ability to brick off on... It leaves them the ability to brick off on... Uh, on the spoils and like exile too much, but pretty good chance we die when they hit seven. Jarvis, thanks for the bits. A Jeff Hoagland shirt, what would that consist of? All right, I think we're just hoping to get another turn here, right? Pretty sure we're just like hoping to get another turn. I suppose, I suppose I have one Rex Sage in my deck, right? So I should just do this now. I guess I could also hit a Heritage Druid, which lets me do more stuff now. Yep. All right. Not my thoughts, he says. All right. Kill me, opponent. Oh, see if we end up being a turn slow in the draw here. <laughs> they did not exile nearly enough cards to not be able to kill us, so we're just gonna go ahead and concede because we're dead. We know they have Angel's Grace in their hand from the thought sees earlier. I, I uh, All right, Elvish Visionary, Elvish Mystic. That seems not particularly exciting, but Reclamation Sage is like pseudo interaction, so I think it's fine. Ornus Slacker. Another land is definitely not what we're looking for. I could see an argument for mulliganing this hand for something more aggressive, but I don't know. I don't know the, the quite the range of... I don't quite know all the range of hands that are keepable and not keepable. Yeah, I'm trying the webcam in a new spot. I don't know if I like it or not. It gives magic online a little bit more. It's just... Uh, good, good solid beats. You pretend to throw stuff in the bit jar now? <laughs> uh, keep medium land heavy hand never draw a spell oh. maybe we're really lucky and they don't have another combo piece I think this deck has the tools to be successful in modern I think it's a, a linear deck that linear as well and has like reasonable game against the interactive decks. I 
Um, the best way, the way I liquidated all the stuff on Christie's account was I ended up selling the stuff that would move for platinum and then offering to sell stuff at 50% cash. And then the stuff that was left over that wouldn't sell, um, I ended up just taking like, it was like 15% cash on it. It was not high. Oh, you know, maybe I forgot to play a land, whatever. Ever I got, my hand is all aces opponent. I don't need to, I don't need to play a land. I don't know, there ain't lands in my hand. They're all aces. Please die to the spoils of the vault. It's like a value ad nauseum. Is this a value ad nauseum? Bold, I like it. Those cards do not kill me. I'm assuming they're looking for an Angel's Grace here. Come on! Die! Die to my anemic beats! Oh, die to my beat down. Thank you for the bits, DRM. I do appreciate it. And oh, you were supposed to die, opponent. Justin, must fill the cup to hit. To they do burst off. Ow, oh, ow, oh, bits, ow, oh, ow, oh, bits. This is, this is perfect. I can pretend to get hit by bits. Can really, can really get into character here. No, 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 please, please stop. Just, I'm just trying to get by the world. <laughs> oh no, are we dead? Your opponent, please don't kill me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's like throwing coins at a shot. <laughs> oh, this is, this is just good, clean fun. This is just good, clean fun. Why would you interact with me, opponent? I don't understand. Come on. Crappy green creature. Crappy green creature. Crappy, damn it, Bobby. You were, have we, we've drawn one, sp this is turn six. We've drawn one spell in six turns. What a tilt. What a tilt. I guess their hand isn't particularly stellar either, right? I should hold up a bucket. That's great. We'll just like grab the garbage can here. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, please, please, I gotta collect all the bits. I wanna pick them up off the floor. All right, this is it, chat. This is the, uh, this one's gonna find a drainy elf. We haven't scried anything, right? So I should fetch, I should fetch to thin. I should fetch to thin. Spins a veal. We have four drainy elves in our deck. There are four drainy elves in our deck, chat. And these are the elves we got. I just wanted a drainy elf and a friend. Let's put a decent one in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> just the stop. Stop it, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing pennies at me. Thank you. Thank you for the bits, folks. Oh no, we're dead. Womp womp womp. Oh, I should have been holding lands to fuck with them, right? Just like maybe they don't have enough lands because they played. Nah, they probably have more than enough. Yeah, good game opponent. it. E we ran a little bit cold there. We kept a medium hand. We ran a little bit cold. Um, we had the collecting company had a couple of good hits there to, to end up getting it, but we missed. I wouldn't be surprised if that matchup's a little bit hard for us, but I don't know. Maybe it's not with Shaman of the Pack and the Thought Seasons out of the board. Maybe it's actually just fine. The four relics in this sideboard seems a little aggressive. I wonder what matchup they really want that for. I guess it's like good against like the Grixis style decks. It's probably okay against Tarmogoyf too. 
Hey, good games, Commander. My, my spells were just not coming for you. Now it's for the walls. <laughs> Probably storm. Okay, that seems like a lot of cards for a deck that's not very good. I would I would buy that they're they're there for storm though. This seems a pretty easy mulligan, right? It's okay. It's super exciting, but fine. Top. Ding. And now we blow- Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> the webcam position is better because of the bits. I really feel like that's probably the case. He named A. Thank you for- all right, am I supposed, so this is, I think I'm supposed to fetch basic forest here since they're playing Ponza. I think I'm supposed to fetch a forest because they're playing Ponza. If we get Blood Moon, I want to be able to put Dark Druid into play next turn. It means we don't have red for this, but they're probably going to Blood Moon us into red at some point. Did it explode on accident? It's hard to it's hard to tell where they're gonna where they're gonna fall at. I should make I should make the cheer cup wider, the the capture for it, so that way they can explode wider. So definitely Ponza here with all the basics. You cast my thing. If opponent kills this, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Getting punished for being conservative with our fetch here, but hopefully we find a cavern or something like that. The Jir Cup actually has a bunch of different types bunch of different types of cups it can be. It's very flexible. Streamlabs is a great software. Uh-oh. They bolted my land war elves. That means this arc trade is also dying. No blocks. Do you not know what elvish arc trade does, opponent? Well, now we're just going to cast the Bloodbraid Elf here, right? Since we drew this. Yeah, look at my powerful 3-2. I think this is actually one of the slimmest cup options that I have. The jar. These are, we have, we have some cup choices here. These are, these are the cup choices. Why is there a snowman? How does, how does, how does the snowman work? Yeah, this is, this is one of the thinnest ones. Hey, phone call. It's bam. I can leave a message. My, my rule of thumbs for people that still call me on the phone is if I don't have your number, you can leave a message. Unless I was expecting someone. Use the wine glass so they bounce better. All right. Oh, they, oh, Lordy, they, <laughs> they, they do bounce out better, don't they? 
That's actually better than Bloodbraid Elf here for us, right? Because I really didn't want to get Stone Rain to this turn. <laughs> All right, so now I can do... I can spin this wheel. And then my Elvish Arc Druid's going to make a ton of mana here. So this makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, ah. <laughs> Stop, stop throwing pennies at me. Um, I guess I just start by companying, right? Oh, that is the martini glass. You meant the wine cup, right? I will throw money at you to see what the snowman does. All right, fair. I think, I think they just bounced out. Why is there a snowman? I think, I think they just bounced out. I want more elves if we hit the Draenei elf. Yep, that's true. All right, my green peoples, the power of my green people has gone far and wide. Smush. It's, oh, he kind of like holds them on his arms. This is, this is too much change, chat. This is too, <laughs> it's, I, need, I need a regular cup. I need a cup, chat. I need a, I need a cup. How's that one? It's a different now. I like I like my my curvy cup. I like the curvy cup. This one actually looks like a tip jar. That's why I used it. That one. Elves are a distinct culture. What does blood braid add to this deck? It just adds another like grindy, grindy element at the top to generate card advantage with. It's basically like we have eight pieces of card advantage now as opposed to just four. Oh, I think the snowman bugged, bugged the rest of it. It still thinks there's a snowman there. <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to refresh my cheer cup now. Let's reload. Where are you at? Refresh. All right, all right, all right. What are we boarding? Am I boarding? I kind of just like our main deck here, right? Does anybody want a sideboard? So Bloodbraid and Cord do functionally different things. Cord of Calling is a utility card, whereas Bloodbraid is a card that generates card advantage, like I said. So Bloodbraid allows you to grind a little bit better with an archetype like this. Now, as to your question, is Bloodbraid better than Cord? I don't know. I haven't played enough. I haven't played enough elves to know one way or another. Do we really care about Moon? How much real talk? How much do I actually care about a Blood Moon? <laughs> yeah, Justin's making shamrocks fall on me. I don't. I don't think we care about Blood Moon, but I guess I could be wrong on that. I guess I could be wrong on that. I think I think I just want to run it. <laughs> I can't tell if moving the cup to make me dodge bits is the best thing I've ever done or the worst thing I've ever done. It's probably definitely one of the two. Mm, I'm probably supposed to nettle on one there, right? Yeah, I'm probably supposed to nettle on one. This is match two. We died match one, Dad Nausea. Oh, Fancy Penguin, you need spaces. You need spaces, Fancy Penguin. You care about a bunch of dead blood, that's why I'm ignoring the stream and throwing pennies at you. I'm getting nickel and dimed out of this game, chat. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least at least I have bits to dodge while we get. Oh yeah, 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 I need a, I need a, I need a bit umbrella or something over here. Anybody, anybody got a bit umbrella? Anybody is a is a bit umbrella an option? Is that is that a real thing? Do they sell those? I've got I've got a napkin here. I can like take a napkin and like put that up over my head. Oh, magic. I am excited for them to cast Bloodbraid Elf and not be able to Cascade. Conceding to a Stone Rain here. Just another Utopia Sprawl. I guess they could still Stone Rain me here after the Arbor Elf. Ding. Ha! Get him! Get him! Salty bits! So they have six, seven mana currently. Don't Inferno Titan me, bro. No, I explicit I explicitly asked not to be Inferno Titan opponent. Didn't you? Didn't you hear? <laughs> All right, I've made the I've made the bit cup slightly larger so that way they will explode over the entirety of my portrait to make the dodging more fun and interactive. Oh, I should I should get this Rex Age in my deck. Too late. Mistakes are made, chat. Mistakes are made. This hand is dope. Do the kids do the kids say dope? Can I say dope? Is that this hand's obnoxiously good actually, right? Like this is this is the nut opener, right? It's mana dork into this, into this, into this. Jay Dunlap. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate it. As oh no, I missed a donation. I think you missed a donation. Where's my where's my dashboard? I think we did miss the donation, did we? No, wait, maybe. The snowman was disappointing, but I'm a man of my word. I did miss the donation. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the bits, folks. No, you open you open with land war elves because heritage druid isn't an activated ability she could use it while it's summoning sick so this way next turn we'll go land heritage dwinnin's elite and arc druid we'll play all three of these cards it'll be quite excellent so this is this is the nuts this is the nuts elf opener right it's one drop into heritage druid into elite into into Arc Druid. <laughs> and I thought, I thought the Big Cup couldn't, I thought the Big Cup couldn't get better. But uh, but uh, chat wants to drown Jeff. I need, now, now I need to get like some foam blocks or something. So we can, so I could like have Christy or one of the kids throw them at me. Hey, we are one. I just want the next badge, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you for the tip, Miss Master Haggis. Get a mini umbrella. I need, I need to stand up. It's gonna get me standing up will let me be more limber for the bit dodging. Most people make it rain. This chat brought sacks of coins. All right, so I have this. Um, I can actually Bloodbraid and cast the Cascade spell here, but I think I'd rather just beat them down. So I'm going to do this and then just attack, I think. Uh 
That was a great ride. Hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Unless they have a sweeper, they're in a lot of trouble here because the Trinister is Trinister is symmetrical. Well, this totally means we're getting swept, right? Ew! Thank you, Justin. This is just an anger of the gods here. Unfortunate. Womp womp. How is your dexterity? This is my tutu. What do we have to do to a PC? These poor. These poor elves. There's like four different combos in the alarm deck, so we'll go through them when we get there. We'll go, we'll go through them when we get there. Turner's Fear and Cascade does not work how we want it to work. You have to pay the extra. Ah! Ah! That's aggressive. Do they have another? They must have another blocker here, right? It's like another. Nope. All right. Have a lightning bolt, maybe? My chat experience. I believe it is a Conley Woods deck. I don't know. I did the person that submitted it didn't link a Conley Woods deck, but I don't. I don't like to. to people. People are so pimpy about claiming origins of decks. I don't know. I don't keep track of that shit. From zero meme to 10 meme. This deck's not that much of a meme. It's just like explosive occasionally. Are we dead? I think we're dead. If they have a land here, we're certainly dead. Take advantage of the nerd throwing pennies. <laughs> So they have one, two, three, four, five. So they can't, they can't cascade with their thing. So maybe we could be okay if we go wide enough here, but I'm not really sure that we're going to be able to, able to beat through after that anger, especially with the, the course of Krufix sitting in here threatening to gain health. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. Please use your cascade and don't know how you're, do they do they think they can cast the singer of the gods? That that's not going to work out for you, put it. Because this is a really great board to cast anger of the gods on, but that's not how your trinister works. So Elvis Champion is lethal. We have what we have one copy of Elvis Champion in our deck chat. And it will be it will be lethal if we draw it. One singleton copy of Elvis Champion. No, you can't cast that one mana spell either, opponent. You have a Trinister in play. The same reason you couldn't cast the Anger of the Gods. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Oh, I guess we have a bunch of Drain Shamans in our deck too, right? The Drainy Shamans are also lethal. No! We can't cast it because of Trinisphere! Oh no! <laughs> what? They, they have no idea how their Trinisphere works! They just, they literally just did it themselves! They literally, well, I mean, I'll take it! I'll take it, I guess, but like, their Trinisphere literally just prevented them from casting their spell.
Like, like I could see not understanding and like tilt conceding if you had no idea, but like they literally just couldn't cast their own spell in this exact same situation. I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the W. And I'm just gonna put my pocket down here and just enjoy, enjoy my, uh, enjoy playing Magic. You know, it's whatevs, whatevs. Thanks everyone for hanging out here today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time DCG player and content producer. Uh, I stream full-time here on Twitch. If you are enjoying my content, uh, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. I am one more sub point away from getting a new emote on the channel. We are at 1199 sub points out of 1200. So if you're considering subscribing, this is a great time to do it. You can also support my stuff by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. InkGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. Zeke! With the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thanks a bunch for bumping us up there. I do appreciate it. There's a lot of excellent people streaming on Twitch, and I appreciate you putting your Amazon fund money towards my channel this month. I do appreciate that. Cardsphere would love to help you turn your cards into other cards or cash with other players. There's no haggling. They just take a 1% fee off the top. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix, Justin Nivik, and you. At the very least, please make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it lets you know when I go live and with what. I always try and put the names of the decks that we're going to be playing on a given stream day in the stream title so you can kind of get a heads up on what we're going to be playing. And if you can't tune in live, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com uh, forward slash Jeff Hoagland. I archive 100% of my things there so you can watch them after the fact. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to be happy that we have these relics in our board because it looks like they're playing Storm. Looks like they're playing Storm. This seems like okay. Like that's super exciting, but fine, right? Like it's got it's got acceleration. It's gonna be really bad against the storm. Yeah, like we could definitely just die on three here. You definitely just die on three. Basic Mountain, all right? Their sequencing is curious there. I wonder if they like had a mana creature and then decided against playing it. You want a butter sandwich? Okay. Actually, uh, I think I'm supposed to visionary here because that makes us more likely to hit our land drop for next turn. Although I guess I have this land more else to guarantee I hit four. So maybe I'm just supposed to put more pressure into play. Could see that going either way. Just tuning in again, trying out cards through and it seems great so far. Other than the have section, it doesn't work on all devices. Also, I got Morrowind and will be streaming as I haven't played it before. Morrowind's a lot of fun. What's the, with the renewed interest in Morrowind? Did they like... They like remat did they re did they remaster Morrowind and I missed it? Or is it just like the same old release of Morrowind that people are playing from 15 years ago? It's just on the Xbox One store now. I feel like people that have only played Sky Skyrim are gonna like get into combat in Morrowind and just like be really disappointed because the combat system in Morrowind is much worse than Skyrim. It's also available for VR now. That's sweet. That's sweet. I, I also, people that haven't, one of the things that was kind of unique to Morrowind that you don't see anymore, like, 
in Morrowind, there isn't a quest like arrow pointing, telling you where to go. You have to like read books and talk to people and like look at the map yourself and the major cities aren't marked on the map. Like you have to, you have to like figure out which cities are where for reading maps and stuff. Be a true wizard. That's true, Justin. That's true. So, saying Bloodbraid Elves, Bloodbraid Elf is bad in Elves is like saying is like saying Collected Company is bad in Elves. A lot of the times, your Collected Company also doesn't do anything particularly impressive. It's just putting a Mana Dork and one other thing into play. So, like mini map of the game. <laughs> yep, yep. Are we definitively dead here? If I ditch this and ditch this, if they have another ritual, we're dead. Yeah, because Mana Morphos puts them to three mana total, so if they have another ritual, I'll just concede. There's a online multiplayer. There's a there's a group of modders that made Morrowind multiplayer online, which is sweet too. Which is neat. Bad dudes, we really can't do anything here, right? Just like the mighty one three stands in our way. Yeah, open open Morrowind. The one that lets you play Morrowind multiplayer is a fork of open Morrowind. Open source software is great. All right, we did. So that's different. So the the mod, the community made mod is a it's it's actually Morrowind. You play the actual game but with multiple people connected to a server. I'm pretty sure we bring in all of these, maybe board like this. Like if I'm bringing in this many non-hits, I probably need to cut the collected companies. Yeah, I think I think this is the plan. I don't think Choke's good against, enough against the non-fetch version of Storms, like they have Shivan Reefs and stuff. Lots of other things. I actually never really got into Oblivion. I've played a bunch of Skyrim, I've played a bunch of Morrowind, and Oblivion was just the one that I never, never really got into. I wonder if they're ever going to release an Elder Scrolls 6, not just the MMO bullshit, but just like an actual... There's also a dev team working on making um, Skyrim multiplayer, which Christie's never played Skyrim before, so hopefully they actually get that into a public release this year and then Christie and I can play Skyrim together. The sand doesn't interact, but it's pretty fast. Maybe it's not fast enough to keep against storm. Maybe it's not fast enough to keep against storm. I don't know. A Pokemon MMO would be sweet, Zach. Did they post something about Elder Scrolls 6? Will be made eventually. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware that eventually is probably a timeline. So I shock for this. I can go Elf, Heritage Druid, Arc Druid here. The co-op mod for Skyrim is still a work in progress. <laughs> I give them a couple of dollars every month on Patreon. I keep up with them. All right, that was an excellent draw. 
We have some disruption to go with our clock now. Well, now I just take Gifts Ungiven, right? They get to bolt something, but that's like whatever. Speaking of Pokemon, I just ordered a 4G enabled tablet to play some Pokemon Go on this summer. Should be fun. Perhaps they're working on now. Rumors have it to circulate that the sci fi game they're working on will be announced at E3. Elder Scrolls, Fallout, new IP, Fallout. A lot of keen tripping over there. Don't fall over yourself, opponent. All right, we'll see if they can kill us next turn. They do have at least two rituals in their hand, so... Uh, we're one in one, right? Yeah, we're one in one, actually. So this will drain for four and puts lethal in play. The opponent's got two rituals and three cards we don't know. I just work here. <laughs> to be fair, the first match was mostly me dodging bits out of the cup, so... We haven't had a Sky, uh, an Elder Scrolls release in a long time, though, right? Like, Skyrim's, like, six or seven years old at this point. They have another bolt. That was a good draw. Like drawing good draws. No, I don't really count DSO. By, when, I, when I talk about Bethesda games... Is there, and yeah, I just, I like, I like this, I like the single player aspect of Skyrim. It's nice that Skyrim's a game that I can like pause and like go do something else and come back to it or like if the kids need something. Exclamation point donation queue, the command that is listed in the stream title. We'll show you, show you what we're, what we have on the docket. I think this hand's too, like do I, do I mulligan functional hands? Do I mulligan functional hands looking for hate? Like this, this is one of our better elf starts. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. I think, I'm like, I'm not excited about this, but I don't think I can mulligan a functional elf hand looking for one of our eight pieces of disruption. Good draw. Now I can lead on Nettle Sentinel, right? Yeah, and then I can attack and then go Elf, Elf, Elf. No, I'm not really interested in learning standard. Unless, unless all interest in modern suddenly dries up, I don't think we're gonna be touching standard again, at least until rotation. I really have no desire to like grind through scarab gods and hazards and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe next rotation they'll have things that are more interactive. God, that was a nut straw. Why would they make test six where they could re release Skyrim again? That's true, they did remaster it, didn't they? We're sitting up for turn three lethal here. 
No, I don't want to attack first because I want to get in one extra point of damage. I have plenty of green spells to cast in my hand here. So I want to get the Arc Druid into play before I attack. This is so people that are asking like why elves is popular hands like this are po why it's popular right it's just like heritage druid and these other cards just let you go really wide really fast our opponent needs to kill us or have a sweeper or they're going to be going to be potentially dead next turn please cast a cantrip please cast a cantrip please cast a cantrip yes I don't think Storb usually plays sweepers in their board, right? So this would leave me, yeah, so I could do this. Trigger. Ding. Dupe. Dupe. Oh, wait. Huh. So I'm attacking for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I should just cast. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Yes! Victory! Who says you need interaction? Just kill him on our turn three. Get him. Get your stormy ass out of here. Oh, we need a butter sandwich, right, Declan? Nope, you're good. All right. Our interaction was with their life total, right? <laughs> Interacted the crap out of their health total. Just interacted them all the way down to dead. The elves are here and they are hangry. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hi ho, the Cheerio, waiting to queue. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Thanks for hanging out, coming in on the end of the week here. Remember, if you're going to be around this weekend, Saturday, I'm going to be streaming all day. I'm going to start about 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm going to go for 12, maybe, maybe even a little bit more hours than that. So, have a good, good long Saturday stream. So if you are looking to watch some magic in between your pre-release stuff, be sure to drop by. This hand is okay. It's got a lot of powerful cards in it, but the fact that it doesn't have an actual accelerant on one is a little bad. We're hoping to draw like a two mana elf, like Dwinin's Elite would be the nut draw here. No, they'll never finish the spirit guide cycle. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody interested in seeing the spirit guide cycle finished. Zero, zero people. When's the next legacy stream looking at the schedule as of right now? I don't plan in advance because democracy always prevails. Ba basically, we'll stream legacy when there are, let's say, three legacy decks that have higher points than whatever the highest modern decks are. So I just let what points we have in the queue dictate what we're playing when. Temple of Epiphany and Anticipate. Hope, hopefully we will have access to Dominaria cards for Saturday so we can play like some decks with the new mocks and we can play some decks with Damping Spheres.
There's, there are a lot of bits on the board. God bless Nivik, Justin, and Swamp. I could definitely do this full time on just my sub count alone, but the bits on top are definitely nice. No, I don't think four spheres too much. I think three to four spheres probably going to be the standard in most mid range decks. Time to cash out, right? Rude. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fetch. Another forest here. What am I doing? So I could go Shaman into Heritage Druid into Azuri. I also just slam, I think I just want to slam Bloodbraid this turn. So that way my, my, so that way my Shaman is more valuable later. And I think I'd rather smash for Four here, then play a Zuri, but maybe that's wrong. Do I want to smash for four or do I want to play a Zuri? Actually, I think I just want to play a Zuri. I think I want to just get this into play. Go. That's a good idea, Smogard. I'll do that later today. It's a good suggestion. Uh, bit.ly forward slash donation queue will get you there. But adding adding a link to that on the gaming page sounds great. I wonder if I could embed that spreadsheet in my WordPress page. I'll bet you I could embed that spreadsheet in my WordPress page. I can 6, 11, 15... Or a little short of lethal here. I just want to play around a sweeper to the best of my ability here. Put you to two, and that way, even if they sweep, I can go druid into shaman and kill you. All right. I don't. I don't really know what we're doing or what the opponent's doing more explicitly, I should say. They have temples. I'm not going to board in choke if they have a bunch of temples. I'm going to have like a lot of other random like non-island blue sources. <sighs> part of me wants these thought seizes, but another part of me just like doesn't want to dilute my game plan. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right, I'll board in the choke. The Elvis champion's not super impressive, right? Yeah, let's just submit like this, just like, and that's one of the things when you're playing a linear deck like this, um, less is often more when you're not quite sure what to sideboard, just like don't dilute your game plan basically is what it comes to, what it comes down to. When it comes down to, if we see com a combo out of them, especially when we're up a game, yeah. Yeah, when we're up a game, like if we were down a game, I might board in like the Reclamation Sage as a small hedge, but when we're up a game and this hand just is our nut draw, Turn one elf into boop, boop, boop. Just sign me up. They must be on four temples. They must be on four temples. That's true. If we were down a game, we'd know how they kill us. It's like good, good reason. Man, this Cavern of Souls card very generates very interesting games of Magic the Gathering. And Nettle Sentinel takes our nut draw and like cranks it into overdrive, right? Although I guess they could technically counter our stuff now, right? All right, if they have anger of the gods, we're going to die. It's okay. It's okay, I understand. I, under I understand we're going to die, chat. What? 
Hopefully, we have appeased the gods. Hopefully, we have appeased the gods. Clasms, anger, slag storms, sweltering suns. These are these are all things our tiny green people fear very much. Good night, my sweet prince. Good night, my sweet prince. Not still not quite sure what they're doing. They have sulfur falls here too, so I definitely don't want this choke. The choke we've boarded in seems really bad. They just like played four blue red lands and only one of them get choked. Yeah, lead the stampede's a card that should come in. I wasn't sure if they were a control deck or a combo deck. I guess they had bolt in game one, which kind of indicates they could be a control deck. But yeah, we'll definitely be bringing in lead the stampedes for game game three if if it happens. It's a good draw. Yeah, they could be a combo deck, they could be Breach, they could be a Platinum Imperion deck. So, we're gonna make them kill us this game, or at the very least, we're gonna make them show us a win condition. And Sweltering Suns, all right. Yeah, like, at this point, we can't win the game, but I, I wanna see how they win the game before we go to sideboarding. All right, we've stone rained them. They're actually just like a control deck, okay. Actually just a control deck. All right, so these seem reasonable. The choke seems mediocre. I think I'm supposed to trim Nettle Sentinel. I think that's the cut I want to make. And I'm going to board these in. Like this is let we, we want to go less wide when we're. This is me 28 company hits. I don't know that I just I just don't know that I want to board in that many that many non hits for my company. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. I think this seems fine. Again, we don't wanna we don't wanna dilute our game plan too much, but I think bringing in some ways to like tag through their sweepers and like gas back up after sweepers seems fine. I'd love to play first. It's fine, not exciting, but fine. I think Dotsies is very reasonable. Thanks for the bits, Fancy Penguin. Another another land that doesn't get choked. Huh. Yeah, I was gonna Shaman of the pack and get my pressure into play here. Just like try and run them down. And, like next turn we can Blood Braid off and start smashing. What's going on, Queso? Hope your day gets better. Glad you're enjoying the content. So next turn, we'll just go land Blood Braid Elf, and then we'll basically just keep smashing with whatever we have on the board until they clear us. Hmm. That's good for guessing back up with. Hey, thank you for the Shamrock Bits Wolverine. I appreciate that. Welcome. 
Ding. Well, I guess it's not a ding yet. Let's see how many we hit. For fuck's sake. That's really frustrating. There's 32 hits for that in our deck. We said ding too, we ding too soon, chat. Should have let the pie stew in the oven a touch longer. Feels, feels bad, man, indeed. All right, uh, this, into this, into Arcturid. Hey, don't sweep me again. And I want to crack this fetch because we put a company and a lead the stampede on the bottom of my deck, so I'd like to draw both of those cards. Maybe they won't have another sweeper and we'll get to just beat them down with these creatures. Well, I suppose even if they have a bolt here, they take some of our power off the table, but I think I'm fine with that. We're okay with that. Please be targeted, not a sweeper. They are in fact playing seismic swans, okay. Confirmed playing seismic swans. Yep, okay. All right, now, now we just have to go, I think. So the reason to arc druid instead of playing company is because company's much better post sweeper. And I want to minimize the impact a sweeper could have on the game there. All right, well, if they have another sweeper now, we're gonna be pretty dead unless we can like company into double shaman. It said I'm only 4,000 bits from the next bed, so thanks for being the shill I don't have the stones to be. Miss Maxa Haggis, thank you very much for the big bit bomb. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure to drop me a line and let me know if you'd like to use those bits to move up something that you want to see sooner that we have in the queue, or if you want to add something to the queue with them. I appreciate the support, though, so thank you very much for that. My poor, my poor tiny green people. Gonna get swept up here. Swept up into the garbage can. Oh, oh, that's blue mana. That does not sweep them into the garbage can. Okay, they're still dead on board. I remember they can discard lands to deal extra damage. No longer dead on board. Okay, yep. Blood Braid. I guess I'm gonna attack with this to start. Please have a spell, please have a spell, please have a spell, please have a spell. Yes! Get out of here! Ah! Ah! Nice ones. Boo. Elves like to party. Elves like, elves like to party. Bum 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 bum. Blood braid. Azuri. And elf, my people, my people need you, Azuri. Go, fly quickly. Fly quickly. Get him. Get him. Your sweepers have no power here for our elves. Regenerate.
The couch is wet. The couch isn't wet. Yes. The couch isn't wet. Your diaper's wet. Thank you for telling me, though. Next time, tell me before you feast. We go on five. All right, sorry about that. Famous last words, right? Um, thank you. To, thanks to all the subscribers and bits from people like Mix Max to Haggis and Nivik and Justin and Swamp. We have one. We have one more month of Declan being around in the mornings while I'm streaming, but then starting uh, at the end of May, we will be full time doing this like a real job and uh, there won't be kids in the background screaming I want a butter sandwich but I don't want to get up to get it <laughs> I still need to finalize my schedule once we work out daycare stuff for the kids but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do three days a week like just a normal like eight, eight and a half maybe nine hour work day like nine in the morning till five or six in the evening Declan is why I sub <laughs> well the kids will still make cameos occasionally like when the, when christy sends them down to bring me food and stuff but the normal we're gonna have 30 hours a minimum a week of kid free streams when we do some like extra bonus streams when we might still have them occasionally for the people that find them adorable because they are adorable let's be honest that's why they're emotes this hand is powerful stuff this hand is powerful stuff but just like too slow, right? Dang it, Bobby. When the kids get a little bit older and understand the card games, we'll definitely be doing some streams at some point with them learning to play. Declan, Jake, uh, Jake's not really too into games. Declan's really into games though. And he, he's almost three, so we'll probably start teaching him once he can learn to read a little bit. Thank you for the bit, Chef Sev. This hand's like not exciting, but it's a keepable five. humans i want to say this matchup's decent for us in general but we definitely like we don't have a ton of resources right now this is probably a matchup where we sideboard pretty minimally his favorite cards are the big monsters yep yeah, Declan and I, he, Declan, he, he's mostly mastered the keyboard, the keyboard and mouse at this point. We've been playing a lot of PBS.org games with him, and uh, we play a lot of matching card games. Hey! Rufit the web. Thank you very much for the $12 donation. Dominary is a great set for modern, so here are some ugly red creatures to combo with. It doesn't look like you put a link in your donation there, Rufit the web, so be sure to drop me a private message, a whisper here on Twitch, and uh, with a deck list that you intended to attach with that. And friendly reminder, you should double check that I'll play a deck list before you donate for it. Humans is a great matchup. I'm a traitor to my own race, but I am rooting for the elves here. Hang the traitor. This 
So we get to go ahead and smash them for three here. Uh, you need to put the 100 with the cheer, Josh. I've not. H-A-B-A. -A. Here, man, have 500 for a buck. Thank you, Be Rich, for sending your discounted bits this way. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for spending a dollar to have Amazon send me five. We might be in a little bit of trouble here with the way our, with our hair. We just don't quite have as many resources. Josh, thank you very much for the bits. You cheered successfully that time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks like we're losing this raid. This, this blood braid, our draws are gonna have to be pretty spectacular here. I guess that's okay. So I do this, always yes. And then I can play this Heritage Druid. And then I can Heritage Druid tap my Nettles and then cast the Blood Braid off the Heritage plus that. So I do this. God, if we were plus two cards, we'd be in such an amazing spot. We're not we're not in an unlosable. We're not in an unwinnable spot though. So let's see what this says. This is like Dwinin's Elite would be an amazing spot. Uh, Jeff, I don't like seeing you play my deck before I donate, so I'll just send it to you and throw money at you until you say yes. <laughs> oh, Justin, thank you for the bits. These were a dollar. Put them towards Dino Scape Shift. Thank you, Nella. I will definitely get those added to Dino Scape Shift after we finish wrap up the stream this afternoon. That's another Arc Druid. Okay. Okay, so you're saying, so you're saying there's a chance. Um, I get to smash for nine here, and I probably only need to chump this on the way back, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna like fire in with this and this. I might have to chump block with an Arcturid next turn, but I think this puts us in a reasonable spot to win here, especially if we draw like a Drain Elf next turn. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wanna, I wanna get more things into play here. I want to get more things into play here and get more damage going. So hopefully our opponent doesn't put us into a position that we need to jump with an Arc Druid. Hopefully they don't make us jump with two Arc Druids. That would be really bad for us. I'm hoping that we can get away with just jumping with the Nettle Sentinel here, but depending on how powerful their hand is, we could need to jump with two or three things. You need a butter sandwich? All right, I'll be right back. I need to run upstairs to make a butter sandwich. I'll be quick.
All right, did we die? Um, we do have to block two things here. Take five, go to three, right? Uh, there was no reason not to attack with the Arc Druid. All right, survey says. You are correct. There is no reason not to attack with the um, the redraw. This is lethal, right? Is this lethal? They get to block. They go block, block. No, we're gonna we're gonna die because I did. That is green water. You notice you put my decks at the bottom of the list. Why would you do that? They were, I kept missing actual modern decks that were in the queue. Yeah, so because we didn't attack with the Arc Druid last turn, we're gonna not have lethal here because they're at six. So if our opponent would have been at, so had our opponent been at a lower amount, um, had our opponent been at minus three from this attack last turn, I would have been able to attack for lethal here, but I didn't, I didn't do that. So if I attack with both of these, I probably, so they, they're obligated to block this. If I attack like this, they're obligated to block two of these and I should leave this back. So if I attack with these, they lose both of these because they have to block both. So yeah, I think this is the right attack. And then I have three blockers for three lethal attackers. We just need to dodge Kessig, Malcolm Tents, Reflector Rage, and Mantis Rider. So again, had my opponent been at less health from this attack that I didn't take last turn, this, this Heritage Druid would have attacked for lethal, which is like pretty impressive considering like we started this game by mulliganing to five and having a slow start. So they have draws that kill us here, but they also have they also have draws that just blank and then give us redraws into shamans and collected companies and stuff. Cycling means it bodes well for us. That means they need to they need a live hit. There's all our information's on the table, so and they can't just smash if they don't have blockers because um any green spell would kill them then if we smash and we triple block. I don't know about Nutty, they had a they had a reasonable draw. That's true. I guess that is that is true. They had champion into four X lieutenant. I guess that is pretty good. Yeah, and like I'd have won this game if I'd have if I'd have taken the correct attack with the arc druid that I missed. There's just no reason not to attack with it because it, it wasn't jump blocking. I guess my reason for not attacking with it was I thought I might have to triple chump block, but you could probably make the case that if I was in a position to need to triple chump block, I was losing the game anyway, so it didn't matter. All right, so that means I need to draw a spell if they triple attack here, right? No attacks. Shaman. This, is this lethal? This is lethal, right? They block one, two, three, four, and then they take five. They have six attackers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're taking at a minimum four. They were just dead to any green spell there. C unit, thank you for the bitch for prison. I do appreciate that. Yeah, smash you. Wow, so tried to kick the ball, failed to kick the ball, won anyways after mulliganing to five. Seems decent. Um, I just click submit here, right? I'm pretty sure we don't want any of our sideboard cards. For Grixis Control, thank you Dunlap. I will get those added after the stream's done today. 
Chris's shoulder should be pretty close to the top if I remember. Yeah. If we had like abrupt decays or something in the board, like tagging meddling mage would probably be nice, but I don't have anything like that. Yeah, I don't I think the Rex Sage is worse than just like having like Elvis Champion or anything else that I'd cut for it. I think I think boarding in Rex Sage is worse than just like all the other cards we're already playing. Essence Warden? I don't think I've wanted an Essence Warden at all in any of the games that we've played. Evolutionary Leap's an interesting consideration just because they probably can't take it off the table and it gets to go to town. Easy mulligan on the Hearthstone hand here. This hand needs a second land, but we get three looks at it. It's really powerful if we get there, right? And it gets to blank Kite Sail Freebooters. So we get to go Sentinel into Sentinel Heritage Druid Arc Druid. Like, if we had a Cavern or a Red Source, this hand's actually pretty insane. Gonna bottom, non Cavern, non Red Source. We've seen them bring in Graph Digger's Cage. This is to put my decks back at the top of the queue. It's making me sad. Look at them and not see their beauty. Sounds good, Justin. I'll adjust the sorting for you. Ah, magic online. Bottom a card, immediately draw said card. Bottom the card. Yeah, I'm not, I, I think my biggest feedback for this deck, this specific 75 is definitely the sideboard. We beat Storm without ever drawing a Relic. So I feel like the Relics are probably wasted slots. I feel like I'd be interested in like looking at like what types of things people have played at like Grand Prix and figuring out like comparing our sideboard with theirs. That's like not the best draw in the world, but it's also not the worst. I think I'm just playing another Nettle Sentinel here though, right? I'm gonna go Nettle this turn and then next turn go Heritage Druid and go nuts. Just like get these ready to be able to attack next turn. The sideboard could use Finks. Finks is interesting. If you, if you think Burn's a hard matchup and Finx is also a card that grinds against control decks, Finx seems like an okay addition. Like I said, I definitely don't have enough experience with this deck personally to know, please be Kite Self Rebooter, please be Kite Self Rebooter, please be Kite Self Rebooter. Woo! This is for you, Kite Self Rebooter. Get out of here. Gone. Get. 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 All right. Jacob Fax Monkey, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Nice one, two. Always yes, always yes, always yields. Sideboard could use, we could definitely use Glimpse of Nature. That is, that is A plus feedback. For the kite sail whiff. Thank you for the bets eaten tortoise. I appreciate that. Elves like to party. Elves like, elves like to party. Elves like to party. Elves like, elves like to party. Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. How many elves do I leave in my hand to untap these nettles? Am I supposed to play one more elf out here? I'm probably supposed to play one more, right? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play one more. No, actually, I think I'm supposed to hold these in case they meddling mage me, right? I can play my entire hand here, but I want to be able to untap the nettle sentinels next turn. So like, I want to, I want to be able to play i want to be able to untap the nettles next turn and like if they meddling mage me they know the contents of my hand if i play mystic they could lock me off of they could lock me off of the heritage druid remember i don't have red mana for the blood braid 
I don't I don't have red mana to play blood braid I don't think you can lose so just don't play them yeah I think we're just in a great spot here I think I just want to attack them for eight like I have like a bunch of power in play right and like they didn't use their lands to cast anything next last turn so they probably don't have anything going on Putting the other Heritage Druid into play is better against Reflector Mage. I have these to make mana though, just Chump Block for four. That sounds great. I do have a standing desk. I have a desk with uh, motors in the legs so I can split my time streaming, standing and sitting. And standing's nice because I'm, kind of I'm kind of a bouncy person. So like, lets me get my jitters out. You've, you've got a Noble higher component. That's fair. That's fair to assume that they've... I think, I think like, we can afford to play around a meddling mage, though, here. I think, I think we can afford to be a, a touch conservative just with how much power we have in play. And, like, obviously, if we draw a red source or a collected company, or we just go and say, or a shaman, like, we just, like, dunk them, right? So our one loss in this league was we came up a little bit short against Ad Nauseam, but I imagine it's probably a little bit hard. Ding, ding, dee, 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 dee. Oh, do you have another kite sale free? Or you just forget your stop. Yeah, I think I, I think I like this change with where my, where my thing's at. I think I like it. Shaman of the pack. Shaman of, shaman of the pack now. Shaman of the pack now. Shaman of, shaman of the pack now. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Man, is, is, this, this, this can't be a modern deck, right? We, we did better than three and two. I'm really confused. I'm really confused. We did better than three and two. All right, so feedback on the deck. Um, I think this choke is stupid. I think these relics aren't particularly useful. I think like a lot of the graveyard decks in the format, you can just race and like against Storm, I'd rather have a more efficient card card than this. Um, I think playing one ofs like this Reclamation Sage are kind of silly in a deck without Court of Calling. Like we have Company and Bloodbraid Elf, sure, but those don't get us to exactly the card we want so i think if this is an effect we actually want which it very well could be i think i'd want access to two copies of this so i might turn that someone mentioned stain the mind that card seems kind of neat stain the mind could be okay other people mentioned um the burn matchup could potentially be hard uh someone just suggested scavenging ooze out of the board scavenging ooze seems like a very very reasonable reasonable magic card i think scavenging is something i wouldn't mind having um someone mentioned finks earlier that also seems reasonable so i think those are the types of cards i'd be interested in trying here i definitely would recommend looking at i know a, a black a black green you, you, need to, you need to wipe your hands i definitely would compare sideboards with other elves decks and see what they're playing instead of these relics potentially Hey, Jacob Fax Monkey. Thank you for sending your bits this way. I appreciate that. Thank you for the cheer. The Thought Seizes are great. These cards were fantastic. The Thought Seizes are not out of place. This is a card you definitely should be playing. Thought Seize allows you to pick apart sweepers against control decks like decks that have anger of the gods and supreme verdicts and wrath of gods and it also allows you to interact with other fast combo decks because while this deck is capable of killing on turn three it doesn't always do that it's really kind of a mid-rangey aggressive deck in a lot of its games so having a thought seize to break up the faster combo decks while you mid-range them is is very reasonable yeah abrupt decay could be an okay card too depending on like what you're looking to do with it at any rate, let's uh, let's head on into our second deck of the morning. I think I imported already. Where is it? Or oh, is it not here because Magic Online just like randomly decides not to import things? Yeah, I think that's the case. All right. So 
free form, so it's not formatted correctly. Oh, it's this thing. All right, intruder alarm combo. 